Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Battling ghosts of our past. That's how the new head of a struggling Chicago mental health provider service describes financial issues. CBS 2's previous reports about questionable spending at Community Counseling Centers of Chicago, or C4, led to a probe by the Illinois Attorney General's Office. Now state and federal investigators are looking into taxpayer money given to the nonprofit. Morning Insider Lauren Victory digs even deeper. This was December 2019. Getting to the root of issues at Community Counseling Centers of Chicago, or C4, was... There's nobody else I can talk to? Difficult. This is eventually going to be my office. Exactly 12 months later, new leadership not only invited CBS2 inside, but opened up. We've been tight on money for some time. It's about to get worse for the mental health services provider, almost $2 million worse. This demand letter from the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity came a few weeks ago. The state wants $1.3 million plus interest back from a 2013 grant to buy and fix up this administration building. We finished the renovations a couple of years ago. Interim CEO Pat Nichols shows us what some of that cash was used for. But the state says C4 is missing some bank statements from the project. We feel we have produced um, ample evidence to, um, to establish um, how we handled the money. Lawyers are fighting the grant take back. The nonprofit is cash strapped already and in the process of selling its Broadway location that includes this client drop in center. Fishing to plug holes, CBS2 found multiple. How much does C4 owe on its taxes? Roughly a quarter million dollars, said Nichols, who explained how that happened. My predecessors made the decision. Um, to not pay those taxes and instead use the money for salaries. The nonprofit is slowly paying the IRS back. It also plans to replenish a second pot of money meant for clients. And it's used to pay rent and pay for medications and things like that. Right. Instead, those people received this letter from Social Security last month. It says a pretty scary sentence that their funds were misused. $256,000 touched without permission. C4 tried to quell anxieties with a follow-up letter. Telling them that we owned the mistake we had made and saying your money is available. Missed paychecks, benefits issues, back taxes, grant non-compliance. Why should C4 receive more grant money? We no longer have the people that made the unfortunate decisions here. We're turning around rapidly. We're growing rapidly. And most importantly, the need is so acute. Laura Victory, CBS 2 News. Despite all these situations with money, C4 proudly tells us that the city of Chicago is giving more cash to expand services on the west side. A city spokesperson tells CBS 2 that C4's budget and grant work, they were carefully audited. For more stories like this one, download our new CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.